Hello and welcome back to the Air Armoury. I'm JRH and today I'm going to be looking at Tarion Mark's targets. As you can see here, I have a box of these Tarion Marks targets. Now these are chalk targets for air guns and small bore guns that are designed to explode on impact, as you can see there. Now these are obviously designed to explode in the same kind of way that a clay does when it's hit by a shotgun, rather than the kind of explosion we saw from the Firebird exploding targets in a previous video, and I'll put a link to that in the description. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this company and their targets, but I have to admit that I'd never heard of them before and just came across them by chance on eBay when I was looking for something else. Um, having looked them up though, it looks like Tari and Marks are a British company based in Leeds, uh, established in 1990, and they claim to be the UK's only manufacturer of chalk targets for air guns. And whilst they do have a website, it appears that you can only actually buy them through their eBay shop. So the targets themselves, as I've said, they're made out of chalk. Uh, these ones are 24mm diameter, so about an inch, but you can also get these in a 45mm diameter as well as in animal shapes. Now I opted to buy these multicoloured ones, uh, which come in six different colours, although you can also get boxes of plain white ones, but as you can see all of them are actually white inside, just covered in a coloured pigment on the outside. They're about 3mm thick, so they're strong enough that they're not going to get broken just by handling them, but, as you've seen from that one, they can be broken easily enough, so I have no doubt that an air gun pellet is going to destroy them. Um, they're packed well in the box with these wood shavings, uh, which is to stop them getting broken in the box, as well as to stop them getting damp. Although, a word of warning, don't do as I did and open these for the first time on your lounge carpet, as this stuff gets everywhere. Now, this is a box of 240, and I've set out one of each colour for you to see up there, as well as exposing some of the others under the wood shavings here. Now, each target has a hole in it. So that can be hung up or mounted on a nail or something. Um, from what I've seen though, there is actually a separate company which make metal target holders specifically for the Tarion Marks targets, but I'm not going to bother with one of those as I don't think it's really needed and I could probably make one myself for a fraction of the cost. Um, some of the targets say the hole hasn't actually been made all the way through the target, like that, but it's actually very simple to just punch out and you're not going to harm the target or anything by doing that. I'm now going to shoot some targets to test them out and I'm going to be using two different rifles to see if I get any different results. First of all I'm going to go for penetration, so I'll be using my 177 Hatsan 80-44-10 PCP rifle with these Marksman 9 grain pointed pellets. And then I'll be going for impact using my 2-2 BSA Mark IV Super Meteor with these 12.65 grain H&N Sport hollow point pellets. For the purposes of this video, I've only actually set out four targets. I've got a hanging one and a fixed one for each rifle. And the 177 are going to be on the left here and the 22 on the right. Uh, I've used a different colour for each target so that afterwards I can identify which pieces came from which target. And as usual, I've got my thick bit of kitchen sideboard behind the target, as well as a big bit of foam to stop any ricochets. Okay, so I'm going to take out the first couple of targets using the 177 Hatsan. Now for the remaining two with the 2-2 BSA.
Here I have all the pieces that I could easily find and identify and they're in the same configuration they were set up in. So the 177 on the left with the hanging one at the top and the fixed one at the bottom and then 22 on the right with the hanging and the fixed. Uh, all the targets broke apart well um, despite the different calibre, shape and power behind these two pellets. As you can see they didn't actually make a massive difference in terms of what they did to the target. Now I hadn't actually tested the targets prior to making this video so with the benefit of hindsight I'm actually going to go back on something I said earlier. Uh, now that I've shot a few I think some kind of hold would actually be very beneficial as when I hung them up they blew around in only a slight breeze and the string twisted and things um, and because of that I couldn't see the face of the target clearly the whole time and I think it'd be unnecessary hassle to have to nail each one in if you're going to fix them up. I think you probably still make a holder quite easily. I've just had a quick look around the workshop so I'm not going to do it now. I think just maybe something a bit of wooden baton like that. Got some strong nails. Maybe just put those in at a slight angle to stop the target falling off and then cut the head off so that the targets fit over them nicely. Uh, but that being said the proper metal holders that you can buy now don't seem such a bad idea. They're not too pricey and they're probably going to be more durable than just making one myself out of wood. There you've seen the Tyrian Marks chalk targets. Now I've had a lot of fun shooting these today, so I'm pleased I came across them. Uh, they're fun to shoot, break apart well when they're hit, and they make a nice change from shooting the usual paper targets. And from the tests I've done today, it seems that these are going to work quite well regardless of the type of gun or pellets you're using. Uh, another bonus of these over some of the other unusual targets featured on the Air Armoury in the past, such as the Firebird exploding ones I've already mentioned, are that these are pretty inexpensive. This is a box of 240 and that costs £5.30 plus 280 postage, so including postage they work out at less than 3.5 pence per target. I'm going to be shooting a lot more of these over the weekend and I'll definitely be buying some more when I run out. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out the other videos and subscribe to the Air Armoury channel. And until next time, keep your arms in the air.